عليكم هلا ايفرون هوب يو ار دوين ويل اند سيف ماي نيمز حمزه المندري اند ماي فريند معاذ الحمدي توداي ان شاء الله وي ار جوينج تو توك اباوت ون اوف ذا ابلكيشن اوف ريموت سينسينج ان مايننج اند جيولوجيكال ان ساوثن بارت اوف ذا الجيريا سو ويز اور فورذر ادو ليتس جيت ستارتد Uh, first of all, we are going to give you an introduction about uh, remote sensing. What is the remote sensing? And then we will move to talk about the general location of our case study and the objective of this study. And then we will move to talk about the most important things, which is material and method, which apply in that area. And then we will move to the discussion. And the last part will be conclusion, which is the brief summary about the study. So remote sensing is uh, is a science or let's say it's art which trying to getting information from the air surface without being connected with it and this is used by uh, aircraft or satellite sensors or other things and you can see here there is some figures which is aircraft and we have also satellite sensors so this is done by sensing or recording reflected or emitted energy and trying to process them analyze and apply that information So in our case study, we have used sensor technique to discover some jewelry structure and mineral source. And this technique has applied to the formation of the Central Atlantic Magmatic Province in Southern Algeria. So the study area is located in north of the Algerian city of the Tendouf. As you can see here in figure 3, the general location map of the study area. And uh, you can realize that it's really close to the Morocco. And the stratigraphic sequence in this study consists of the Paleozoic rock and the mean age of this outcrop uh, are Carboniferous and Devonian, where the Carboniferous formation are mainly of uh, sandstone and uh, the Devonian formation are clay sediment. And uh, figure 4 shows the geological map of the northern part of the Tendouf, uh, Tendouf Basin. Where uh, this formation are form of uh, dolaritic cells and dikes. So the aim of this study is uh, trying to use remote sensing to to discover the geological uh, region that contain minerals. And you can see here in Figure Five, uh, we have to draw the boundary of this formation, which shows by uh, red rectangle. Uh, in this case study, uh, apply some materials and method to reach uh, our objective. So we have used the operational line imager, multispectral image, which try to enhance the highlight of the geological structure, and also use some band ratio principal component analysis and uh, uh, a target detection weather. So from here. Uh, my friend Maad, he is going to complete and he will give you more information and more details about these methods. Hello everyone, I hope you are fine and safe. In this part I will talk about many techniques in remote sensing. The first one, band ratio. Band ratio is powerful image processing technique. It's based on or, or it's used to distinguish it between many lithological features. You can see the figure in the right side. It's appear the different lithological such as dolerite, paleozoic, and wadi deposit. Wadi deposit in blue color, paleozoic in green color, and dolerite in black colors. It's based on the diffusion of the radiometric value of one band by the radiometric value of the same pixel of another band. And the ratio is five, 7 by 1, 5 by 3, 4 by 2. It's dis selected to display in RGB mode. The second technique is principal component analyze. This technique is contributed to define the original data into multi-group and uh, help to avoid duplication of data from the ground cover reflection in multi-spectral OLD bands. Also, this technique allows to identification area that contain minerals. You can distinguish by this technique uh, and we have 
this example, figure 7. The lorite appears in light yellow shadows and balazoic rock appears in magnet shadow. The last technique is target detection wizard. This technique allows the detection of the study minerals target by matching the MX spectral, such as in uh, figure 8, you can uh, show increase in proportional of the kleine pyroxene dolorides. So, uh, high kleine pyroxene dolorides in red color, also the diclines, you can determine it by this uh, figure. The result and discussions from these three techniques is you can detection the dolorite or balozoic uh, rock and also you can in identification some geological structure such as faults, place of sedimentary of uh, rivers and valley. Also, uh, it can be created map such as in figure 8, this uh, map about photolithological map of study area. Uh, by this map, you can determine where is dolerite, where is dikes, where is fractures, also where is the uh, sedimentary sedimentations of river and valleys. So all this benefit we can, uh, or we get it from this three technique. The last thing, remote, this type of remote sensing technique use it in our direction, so it's become best uh, technique to detect geological and mineral mapping. By uh, create rock map to help verify the presence of mineral. This uh, map is in figure 9, photolithological map of the study area. You can detect uh, dolerites, dikes, fracture, and uh, mineralization zones. I hope you are enjoy with us. Thank you, and goodbye. Be safe.